Good morning, afternoon, evening. Is that good? I'm so jet <laughs> Although I shouldn't be, honestly, because I had such a normal sleep schedule while I was in Japan. <laughs> but now I'm just. I realize I lived my whole life here in jet lagged. It was completely normal for once, you know? Sleeping at like 10 p.m. Waking up at like 6 a.m. But no, it's just somehow so much more difficult when I'm home. <laughs> I think I did sleep like, um, how many hours did I sleep? I slept enough, it's just, I guess I'm just really tired. <laughs> Well, this doesn't help that, you know, long travel times tire me out, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay. <clears throat> it's been a while since our last drawing stream. When was the last one? I kind of forget. How much is enough? Like, six to eight hours, probably? I've been sleeping six to eight hours. September. <laughs> oh, I missed a call? I didn't get a call, but I have a voicemail. Huh. Oh well, I guess I'll check it later. Hmm. <coughs> Everybody say DM <laughs> say I'm kidding, but um yeah, just gonna be, you know, a very normal chill drawing stream. My goal for drawing streams this year, now that I'm finally back to talking terms with Artistina. It's to not force myself to finish something in one stream. <laughs> I'll just doodle if I wanted to. Honestly, it's probably the best way to uh, not burn myself out so much. <laughs> uh huh. Except I don't. I'm I don't know what to really draw today. I wanted to do a drawing stream, but I wasn't sure if I had like a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we could fix the emotes. That's one, one possibility. We could just doodle. Hmm. Something, someone. <laughs> Draw background. Oh, or we can make up new props to use for the year. Cause we've been using our little little teapot, teacup, whatever table. Oh, I guess I could take out my kotatsu. Um. Hmm. Lots of possibilities here. Draw a bed prop, but why? <laughs> I wouldn't use it. <laughs> New props and copy bars. I don't know, I'm not, I don't think I'm that great at drawing copy bars. Let me just... Um... A floor? You guys already see a floor in my... in my studio. And then... Wait. 
me, but then they have to go like this. They have like two feet. <laughs> I think Blue May is probably better at drawing like animals and stuff than I. Mika, what it said. Oh, you can draw. Small, small cap. Did you know, like the cap, like the baby copy bars? They're literally like someone took a big copy bar and they just. Control T and like shrunk them, and that's that's a small copy. <laughs> See, they could. <laughs> okay, this looks a little. Okay, you know, I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. So, baby copy bar, right? Just copy, <laughs> paste, and then that, and that's a baby copy bar. <laughs> I'll just. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, they're 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 like, yeah, they're basically cooling themselves. <laughs> A copy bar, haha, but um. Ah, chat, chat, chat. Ah, <laughs> uh, what am I gonna do with you, chat? <laughs> you raised us, I mean. I did this to myself. <laughs> I have only put myself to blame. Bonkers, hee <laughs> hee. Just because you said that, no one will be getting bonks today. That's right. Your plan has backfired. Oh, how the turntables. <laughs> Wait, there's no beating. There is. I think just a little quiet. You guys not hear it? BGM is fine. Yeah, it's a little quiet. I like to keep the BGM a little quiet during drawing streams. Cause you can... I, I tend to just loop things, right? So if I keep it quiet enough, you guys can listen to your old music and it won't be like... Too chaotic while you're listening. Anyways, hmm. I mean, isn't tomorrow Pickles and Pie's birthday? I could draw Pickles and Pie. Is it? I thought I saw the. I thought I marked on the cat. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Yeah, and it's the year of the rabbit! Oh, it's all lining up. It's technically today, because it's tomorrow today. Because of the uh, time difference. Tomorrow, today. Tomorrow, today. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Ear of the pickle. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. Did I? Did I tell you guys? I went to see the the. Yeah, I think I told you guys. I went to see the one like the life scale like figure of pickles and fly in the Akiba anime. I was like, oh yeah, I did tell you guys. 
But then, yeah, it was so pretty. Wasn't like the the kimono she was wearing? Isn't that like actual kimono? I guess I could check my picture. I thought it was. Did I buy? How could I buy those life size, life size figure of her? I'm sure there's a lot of, you know. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, others who would pay a lot, <laughs> a lot more than I can I can afford to get that life size figure. It's so cute, like even the shoes she's wearing. So so cute. And the socks too. Oh, adorable. I think they are releasing like um like a smaller version they can put in your display cases, right? There's a one-fourth scale. That's pretty big, because most figures, like, generally, they're, like, one-seventh or one-eighth, right? So one-fourth is quite big. That's, like, double the size of a one-eighth figure, so that's... Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Hmm. Yeah. You know, maybe next time. <laughs> next time, I should probably only book drawing streams if I have an idea of what to draw or have a rough ready. <laughs> Cause, okay. So, if I say, if I say, this is. Like, the entire time it takes to finish drawing something, right? It becomes... Like... A lot of the things you don't see, like... Okay, let's say this is the, 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 the beginning... Beginning... I think it... I can't even English... I was drawing... There's this whole part before that's like brainstorming and drawing roughs and... I can't spell, okay? I never won the spelling bee. <laughs> I actually feel like... Thinking about... Like, how people are able to remember how to spell words. Like, without writing them. And when, when they're under so much pressure, it's like, I don't know how to do it. Because you know how there's a thing where if you write or look at a certain English word too much, it doesn't seem like it's right. You know, like you, you feel like it's not written correctly. So if you think about a word like, really intensely, like during a spelling bee, for example. I feel like you'd end up messing up the spelling, even if you knew how to spell it. And you know, they like, what's it? Um, when they don't know the word, they like ask, they're like, oh, what's the origin of this word? Like, is it Latin? Is it something else? And they'll actually say like, like the, the judges or like the person reading out the words would be like, yeah, that it, it like stems from this word and that word. I was like, oh, what? Too much knowledge for my small brain. <laughs> People going to spell knees practice a lot. I know, but like, that's the thing, right? 
for drawing, for example, there's no right or wrong, but then like a competition. And there's so many words you have to remember. Or no. Maybe it's just that my brain is not used to remembering that many words. So it just doesn't understand if there's like a big similarity or not. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Linguistic majors have entered the chat. <laughs> Uh, I actually did have a friend who studied linguistics, I think. I haven't talked to her in a lot of years, but... <laughs> I always wondered, like, what you studied in linguistics and stuff. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I'll try to open up a oh, there we go. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I also have the picture of, um, What's it? Sora Senpai didn't get to finish too. <laughs> I have so many things I haven't finished. I don't know, maybe I'll pull them up later in the year. for my yawning. I'm not like tired, but it's just like, well, I guess I am tired, but it's, it's not a bad tire. It's just, I want more sleep. Tired. <laughs> I got enough sleep, but I want more sleep. Hmm. Will be nice. gonna start scribbling random things. Mm. 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 I start using a new brush? I don't know, I just picked a random one. I just picked the random one that was uh, the one I used to draw the thumbnail. She's a rabbit, right? So maybe you can draw her jumping. Mm. <laughs> 
any opening jump. Maybe. Something like this will be okay, I think. She could have both her arms stretched out. <sighs> mm. Then we could come up with different angle for this one. Stick with this. <laughs> it does have to be finished as long as we get the idea across. I saw, I saw a clip saying that Mumi was happy to get, like, get her Aina noises back. Mummy, mummy, mummy. Mummy, mummy, mummy. You know, it still feels like I haven't drawn in many years or something. <laughs> I forget how to draw chat. What do I do? Just draw. <laughs> I'm trying. Damn. Yeah, draw. Remember who you are. <laughs> I am Millennia. <laughs> Wait a <laughs> Kusa. Thank you. 
Hmm. I guess we'll see. Got some bunny suit? Bunny suits are nice. They're cute. What have I been up to? Um, a stream? Work on projects? Eight. Work on more projects. Work on more projects. Sleep. Stream. <laughs> I'm back to my my original original schedule here. But I've, I've uh, added a lot of sleep into it compared to before. <laughs> it's just I probably won't have any, you know, f free time for a while. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Hmm. Imagine boxes, yeah. Uh, can probably this up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I gave myself more time to sleep, but I just realized. I should probably give myself some time to go grocery shopping. <laughs> so I made I made some udon for for lunch before stream. Except I realized I haven't gone grocery shopping after I got back my trip and um I had no green onions. <laughs> I had no toppings for my udon. <laughs> I was like, well, this is gonna be some sad udon. So I looked at my freezer. I had some like one of those like tofu puff things. Um, so I was like, okay, okay. And then I did a big brain move, right? Remember? Remember the story of the Monica looking cracker that turns out to be something you put it in with miso paste and then put it in hot water? I was like, wait. Dehydrated green onions and Naruto inside that Monica. And I had one left. I had one left. So I put that in and I ate my udon. It looked edible. So <laughs> it all worked out. It all worked out. Hmm. I'm like. Yeah, that, that looks better. Um... Man, drugs is difficult. Okay, here we go again. Aristina saying everything's so difficult. <laughs> it is true though, it is true. Maybe having this one bent back is more than them. Yeah. Mm. It's 
really need to study anatomy again. <laughs> the struggles, yeah, the struggle is real. Leave it at the blob. <laughs> we leave it at the blob. Lower the opacity. Probably copy this. Okay. She's jumping. I'm to kind of have her bangs flying up. have some movement. Yeah. <laughs> the 
this is the struggle, you know, the struggle of being an artist. You just adjust, adjust, adjust until something looks okay. Might not even look okay in the end. What is okay? The title doodle. <laughs> Yeah, I've been really enjoying drawing on my iPad a lot, like before I go to sleep. Cause I don't have to really think about a lot of things. Not getting stuff correct. I just draw and then forget about it in the morning. <laughs> Cause forget that I was drawing. It's pretty relaxing, I think. That's throwing me off. And I'm just gonna merge this. This is fine. One, two, three, four, five, five? No. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. And carrot. Can't forget the carrot. I wonder if she eats the carrots in her hair, does she? Hmm. No. <laughs> yes, no. Emergency food? Understandable. Okay, now that her braids are there, I wanna adjust this her side hair here. Be a little more out in the open so we can see it. Just the eyes a little bit here now that the angle changed a bit. Oh, 
Mm. Yeah. Having liquefy and clip is so nice now. <laughs> I don't have to redraw so many things, you know. It's very nice. It's a great update. Not the perfect. It's just the rough enough. It's just the rough. <laughs> pickle, pickle. Her, her like neck scarf is so cute. Covering up this part. Maybe I should have her arm extend a little this way. Yeah, maybe a little more to the front. Yeah. and buzz outfits are so cute. But I, I do really like her original a lot. As well. Make sure we don't miss her sleeve puffs. Cool. Yeah, cause it's kind of like it's like a bunny bunny girl outfit, right? But it's like. I say? It's so fluffy. <laughs> it's fluffy. It's adorable. Oh, I should save. Don't forget to save. Uh, 2023. Oh, I can make my 2023 folder now. Change the color of the sketches here. Okay, that's better. Now it's easier to see.
Um, but then the difficulty here, right? Is... Mm, wait, I think I need to... Hold on. Adjust the canvas size a little bit here. I have more room. Hey, how's the new mic with the keyboard clicky clackies, by the way? I can make this a little longer. It's pretty good. Good, good, good. How does it compare? Okay, how would you say it compares to the other microphone? I think yes. I was thinking about switching back to the other microphone, but. Does it have the scratchy scratchy noises? You guys like the dynamic one better? <laughs> it sounds the same. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's only different if I like... Um... What's it? Hold on. Gotta... Fix the legs. The thing is like, I wonder... Yeah, I feel like I should change the angle. Make it a little more dynamic. Do this. Oops. This, this, okay. To listen to both, okay. It's a little difficult because my um mixer only has one input, so I have to somehow switch them. Yeah. I mean I think I'm starting to be okay with the sketch. It's not a bad start. Oops. Uh, apply And multiply. No, wait. This has this. Okay. Hmm, let's see here though. Okay, okay. Um, adjust this now. What's that? No, I adjust this. This. And that. Cool. Cool, cool. Go, 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 go. Ah. How do you like all the new Hollow Man outfits and the models that appeared while you were away? They're all so nice! Ah. They're so nice. Like, I see a lot of, you know... B2 version outfits being released, but... Maybe I, I think I'm biased. I'm, I'm biased because I know... I know the holo a lot better, but I feel like all the new outfits that the holo get, like, it fits them so well. Yeah. I really like Crony's outfit, too. And Fauna's. I think there's still a couple of their uh, reveal streams that I haven't watched because there were so many while I was away. It was like three months of outfit reveals, but yeah. See, I have to kind of think though, like when you when you draw like cloth, right? You have to kind of think about like what kind of um, material it is, right? Like, is it heavy? Like, how does it act in like when they move like this and that? 
man, like, what kind of fabric is it? Like, when it comes to Pecora's info, right, I have to think about how her outfit here move. In certain situations, like for example, right? Um, let's say Chromie's new coat. It's a coat, definitely. So it's a little. I'm assuming it's like a little thicker material, but it does fold quite a bit. Um, so like if it if she jumps and then falls down, I assume it's gonna like you know, kind of like be a little more flowy, but still has those sharper fabric folds. But for Pecos and Beret, her outfit, it's like, it does have folds if you see her 3D model, right? Oh, maybe I can show it on the screen. Copy, paste. You can see how it moves while well, she's in 3D too. Like, this part here, definitely you see some folds. But this one is a lot, lot more, what should I say? It keeps this shape. Kind of like the, the lamp shape. So, it's not like a thin material, if it was to be like a real, like, fabric. So, it's a little more rigid. So, if she jumps like this, it's not gonna be like, wee. It's gonna be more... Like that. Is the point I was trying to get. <laughs> Like, would you think that there would be... Okay, is there any cosplay experts in the chat? Any cosplay experts in the chat? This is... This is where... All kinds of different, you know, fields kind of meet up. It's like... If you were to... Cosplay... Uh, Pekora Senpa here... Would you add, like... Wires or frames? Like... Like, for example, like, you would add, like, frames or something like that. Kind of like that. And, like... Hmm. As a joke? What? Did I say something? <laughs> what? Oh, so yap joke, don't look it up. Ah, chat. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, everyone just forgetty beam or something. I don't know. Okay, I need I need the cosplay experts here. <laughs> or maybe I can just look up already made cosplays. See, this is kind of the uh, kind of the um, thought process I go through. Usada Pekora cosplay. Huh. It seems like they don't put in frames or anything. It's just like a really stiff fabric, it looks like. Can do this. Oh, we do have an expert here. Can the thin wire in the hem for structure, perhaps a few in the classic hoop skirt petticoat design? Oh. I guess they could have the wire or the framework like, inside the outfit itself, like the cloth itself. Because cloth isn't just gonna be one... one layer. Oh. Thank you! Thank you, cosplay expert. Oh. I tried to stick a petticoat or something under it. Oh. This is like a whole new world. Like, I've... I've 
done some like stitching and stuff before um but i've never really like made clothes you know so it's always so interesting that's why i really found um uh bisque doll was so interesting mixing like cosplay and like just learning about the process behind, you know, the final product, it's what interests me. It's a like bisque doll is very, very cool. Yeah, that's why I really liked series like New Game or Shirabako. Shirobako? 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 Yeah, because. Because. Like, it's the stuff that we take so... Take for granted almost. Like, we see the final product and we'll be like... Oh, why is this like not this high quality or something like... Something like that, right? But when you learn... You know... All the hard work that goes... Behind it. You tend to appreciate it a little more, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do this. Okay, so I feel like if there's the button here, right? It would fold a little bit. I think this is the right way to go about drawing it. Then I'll have to adjust her hair a little bit here. Okay, I'll put it on different layer. I'll come back to you. Left twin tail. <laughs> Yeah, cosplay is a lot of work. Actually, I was browsing through YouTube shorts, right? It's actually very dangerous to look through YouTube shorts right before you sleep because you blink and like three hours pass. But anyways, besides the point, um, I, I saw this. I don't know what I think it was from Destiny 2. I, I forget the name of the character, but there's like this. They made like a mechanical cosplay mask and it had like LED in it too. And they showed like little steps of progress as they were making it. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> How do people do that? <laughs> Samson. Yeah, yeah, maybe you guys have seen it because it had quite a lot of likes. So I'm pretty sure um, people probably have seen that short somewhere. But they made the mask and then it would like open their mouth and like all the side pieces also move along with it because it's like a mechanical mask, right? It's like, oh, that's so cool. I don't know how people do that. And then, you know, I looked into like 3D printing and stuff some other time ago because I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can make a 3D, 3D figure myself if I get a 3D printer. <laughs> but then but I saw all these people using the 3D printer to, you know, like make their cosplay like, props and stuff, like the difficult parts. And they do like all the airbrushing and like painting. I was like, oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, years ago, before 3D printers were, like, I guess, more widely distributed, like, to, you know, everyone. Like, people probably use, like, you know, clay and, like, what's it? Like, modeling and clay and, like, all kinds of other stuff to make all those cost-based stuff. But now people can get even more detailed and... More fancy with their props too. 3D printing. It's like, oh, that's so cool. You know what else I want to try one? Do you, you guys know the 3D pen? Like where you use the same like filament for 3D printers, but it's like in a pen shape. And you can like make 3D like stuff as if you're drawing. It's kind of like the VR drawing, but like 3D like in real life. That's It's so cool too. People make so many cool stuff. Yeah, actually, <laughs> another story. So, uh, I got these like miniature making kits, right? Um, that I saw while browsing YouTube. <laughs> but Mama Nis really, really likes crafts. Like she, um, like our family house, there's not a single corner in the house where Mama Nis has not like done any like DIY projects <laughs> on it. Like, she's painted, like, the entire house at least once. Like, Papa Nis and Mama Nis, they, um, they install, like, the flooring and stuff in their basement on their own. Um, Mama Nis replaced, like, all the moldings in all the 
all the doorways and all the, you know, all the rooms, etc. She repainted the walls, like, in the living room. Because it used to be, like, a really dark, like, um, dark wood. <laughs> and she was like, it's making the living room look too dark. It's too, it's too, you know, old school. And she painted it, like, with this really nice, uh, like, soft pastel colors and all kinds of stuff. Marnie's is, I don't know, she's so talented. But, um... She really likes making small things, which is part of why I got her the gunfly that she has not touched yet. Which I'm probably gonna try to snap, snatch it away from her someday. But, um... Oh, I just realized the foam on my wall is a little... It's turning a little yellow. <laughs> I tried getting lighter colored foam, like the acoustic foam on my wall, but uh, I feel like next time I'll probably get like a <laughs> darker color. <laughs> Anyways, back to, back to topic. Um, <laughs> so she likes making like little miniatures and stuff. So I got her these um, like kits where you can build like little um, like bakeries or libraries or uh, or like a greenhouse kind of garden looking thing and um, as soon as she started making she started making it like a couple days ago like as soon as she came back from vacation and then um, she keeps sending me like all the pictures of how she's um, what's it all like the yeah miniature di di is it diorama or diorama 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 <laughs> all of English by the way. <laughs> But yeah, she like kept taking pictures of like all the all the things, small things. Uh, she was making like she was like, oh, I made this like little flower pot today, and like I made this little shelf today. Um, and she actually brought over. She came over yesterday um, to drive me to places, um, and she brought like the completed um, uh, greenhouse one. And she was like, oh yeah, all these like plants, I had to like make it, they were so small, so difficult, there were so many plants, blah blah blah. And then, um, she was like, oh yeah, the, the, it came with like a lighting thing, you can uh, hook it up to a battery. But apparently the light thing didn't work, so she didn't install it. And I was like, oh, you know, like, there's a lot of people who do, do like miniature stuff like on YouTube. And they can add, they like install these like, um, little light, LED lights and stuff. It's really, really nice. And um, I showed her like a couple of videos and stuff. She's like, oh, "How how do people do all this? I feel I feel so exciting. Like I, I feel so excited looking at these like videos of people doing like all these miniature projects and stuff." And she was like, "Man, if I had the materials, I'll definitely go there, or, or like go and make these miniatures myself too." And I was like, "You know, Ma, I can probably go to like a craft store to get all the things, except like." If she wanted to do things from scratch, she would have to do all the material hunting and, you know, planning herself. But I think for now, she's probably satisfied with the kids. She's just like, it's a little too much work to, you know, actually plan out the entire thing and, you know, searching for the material. Although, I think if I was one, the one, like, coming up with, like, completely original dioramas, it's, like, part of the fun, like, hunting the materials. But, yeah, so far, she's, she's having so much fun making it. She started on her second one. <laughs> Yeah, she started on her second one, and she was like, you know, after I finish these, maybe I'll I'll uh, look into finishing some of that gunpla you got me. I was like, mm, I don't know, mom. <laughs> you like the little cute things, like the little buildings and library. I don't, I don't know if like, you know, make a robot or your thing. <laughs> but she does really like making um, those, you know, miniatures and stuff. Sorry, I got sidetracked. <laughs> Yeah, you get what I mean. Okay, so uh, back to back to the drawing. I feel like I can sense. Okay, there's a little trick, right? When you're thinking about drawing skirts and other longer, flowy fabric. Okay, this is a little taco tips. Taco drawing tips. If you imagine the overall shape, like for example. Pekora Senpai's skirt will overall keep like this kind of shape. I don't know what you call the shape. It's not technically a 
cone. But, um... But for normal skirts and stuff too, think of it in bigger, but simplified... Um, shapes. So... Since Pekora Senpai's outfit is gonna have that general shape... You can kind of imagine what it would look like in different angles. Like if you look from the top, it'll look kind of like that. If you look from the bottom, it'll also look like that, I guess. Depends on... This is kind of like what you would think. Yeah. And then you can use the same logic. A funnel. Yeah, well, I guess the funnel works. They kind of use that logic here too. Where you would see she would have this shape. And since it's it can like change shapes a little bit, you know, because it's soft fabric after all, it's not made out of metal. But it will keep that round, you know, shape overall, generally. So if you imagine this imaginary line making that two small circle, big circle. And then you can fill in the blanks on the sides. Huh. And then you just, you know, go. See, do do. And then fill in the blanks. Like so. Oh, I should probably do that. And that. And that's why you, imagining this little circle is good because then you know what the back looks like. The back would look like that. You know? I guess there's the no fur. Fur part. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. But yeah, it's good to sometimes, you know, adjust things on the go. Thank you, Liquify. <laughs> Make sure everything looks balanced. And then if you take away the rough, it looks like her skirt is relatively the same-ish. <laughs> yeah, and you can add in a little bit of uh, uh, folds here, because she does have a little bit of folds on her. Um, Waste part. So it's okay to, okay to add this on. Like that! Liquify basically... Ima uh, imagine... Like... Um... What should I say? Imagine your lines are drawn on some really viscous cornstarch, right? You're just taking your finger and you're... Moving that, you know, line across that like <laughs> You can you can move it around like that. Basically switch around without redrawing the line. It's kinda like a easy way to think about it, I think. <laughs> it's very magical because you don't have to redraw a lot of things. Yeah, and there's different options too. For example, let me draw a little grid. So there's like an option to move things like this back and forth. But there's also stuff where it can... Whoop, whoop, can enlarge like that. Or it can do the opposite. Woo! Or, you know... There's, there's a couple different options. It, it has like options to do the woo. Yeah. Okay. But has a lot of uses. Has a lot. Of... Oh yeah, and this uh, this thing I explained about the skirt also works for different, you know, long, I guess, skirts as well. Long or short skirts. Just imagine the two different rings. Of course, skirt shape. 
Except depending on what the material of the fabric is, right? It can make different shapes. So if you imagine like, you know, a Josh Kose's uniform skirt, it can make, you know, different shapes. It can be flowing in the wind. But this is like where, where their waist would be, right? But then like... <laughs> but then the bottom part, it would make all kinds of different swirliness. Except you have to remember that this length... Well, let me use a different color. This length here, and this length here, has to be the same. Because if you stretch out, like, this skirt into a actual, you know, base material fabric, right? Ends up being just same, same length this way. So that replies to this. <laughs> yeah. This is turning into what's it? This is turning into some geometry, into art. <laughs> There are asymmetrical skirts, yeah! You just have to adjust it. So, if there's an asymmetrical skirt, I'll just... This will always be the same here. This is where the waist will be. This is where they're wearing it. But if it's an asymmetrical skirt, let's say this side is shorter and this side is longer, you just have to think of it as like this circle, slant this circle. You know? And then... If you wanna kinda easily imagine... This has a 3D shape. You'll see how... For example, right? Draw like the... Folds... As if you're seeing it in 3D space and you just gotta... Oop. Draw that. Wow! Skirt! Asymmetrical! Wow! <laughs> Magic. Yeah. That's why it's really easier. Like, it's easier to imagine drawing skirts after figuring out where those two reference points, like this one and like this one, for example, is gonna be. So, if someone's standing, let's say there's legs here, you have their skirt here. And here, I can imagine how the fabric will fold. This has to be a little. Bit. And then you imagine how the the zigzag on the skirt would look in three D space here, right? Like this this part is kind of the I'm gonna have to study it a little bit, but something like that. And then you just have to connect the lines. And ta-da, you have a skirt. Wow. Yeah, but finding good references is good too. That's why it's okay to, you know, collect, um... What's it? There's... Okay, Google. No, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> you can find, um, what's it? Like pictures of how like skirts... Okay, actually, I told you guys I've sewn stuff before, right? And the reason... And the, uh, not the reason, the thing I've sewn is actually a small example of like a skirt, a pleated skirt. So I took a piece of small-ish fabric, right? I just cut a piece of random fabric. I made a little miniature skirt <laughs> so i could like fold it in different um directions and stuff and see how the folds would look as if it was an actual skirt yeah you can actually you don't have to know how to sew stuff you can do this with paper actually um you just gotta fold it and uh you know it's not technically reusable but it's really good for figuring out how a fold would look if it was like if someone was like sitting or something like that. Yeah. 
yeah, references very important. Anyways, back to <laughs> back to drawing. <laughs> Should I put on my sister's skirt? I mean, honestly, go for it. <laughs> what's what's stopping you from getting the best reference photos you can? Like when I was drawing ties, I literally snuck into Papa Nisi's closet. I stole one of his ties. I mean, borrowed one of his ties. One of his ties. <laughs> Except I didn't know how to tie it really nicely. <laughs> so I was like, Mama needs help. <laughs> Mama needs. I need to learn how to tie a tie nicely. And she tied it for me. <laughs> and afterwards, I was like. Papanis, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask you to give me a tie you're not gonna be using and like a, a dress shirt you're not gonna be using <laughs> and maybe maybe a suit you may not be wearing again. <laughs> you know you gotta do what you gotta do to get the um get the references that you need. Yeah, I've actually thought about <laughs> I thought about buying like Sailor, um, what's it? Safe coop, uh, Sailor uniforms and the uh, the school shoes and stuff, just to have good references. You know, I should do that honestly. Yep. Oh, you know for her her ponytail here. I should probably okay transform. Have it go like and like whoop. Mm hmm. So this one would go like that. This one. I don't know if it's gonna be long enough to go like. Mm. Hmm. I guess this is gonna be okay. Yeah, the thing you also have to think about, right, is like you have to always think about like how rigid or flowy something would be if it was in real life, right? So, Pekora Senpai's braids, for example, like, yeah, physics of materials. Like, her hair, like, on the side is probably a lot lighter, so it can move a lot freely. But her pony- or not ponytails, or her braids, it has a lot more hair, it's more dense, so it's not gonna flail around as much. It's gonna have more weight to it, right? It has the carrots too. So it, I can't make it go like wee. <laughs> it has to have a little bit of like rigidness to it. Yeah, these are some of the, I guess, more detailed things I tend to think about. Well, I guess for her other, other braid here, probably. Yeah, she probably merged these. Too many layers. Too many layers. It's fine. Could probably have her hair go like this. Like up. Okay. And have her like that. It's like, it's kind of like, drawing is kind of like putting in a puzzle piece, like all the different puzzle pieces together, like all the puzzle pieces are like, how would this act in this situation, what kind of material is it, how dense is it, how rigid is it, and then also making sure that you create an interesting composition that brings the eye, the viewer's eye, all across the piece. Kind 
this. Yeah, that's why I say observation. Every like everyday observation is very important because even without realizing, you tend to figure out subconsciously how things work in real life. Like, for example, if you commute to your work on a train, for example, people wear all kinds of different clothes, right? And you tend to, or at least I tend to. <laughs> this is why I really like taking trains in Japan because I can observe so many different people at once. It's like I observe how like a certain fabric would fold a certain way in the shapes it make or like how you know like a frilly skirt for example would react when someone's standing or if there's a bit of wind or if they're sitting in certain ways if they're sitting cross-legged if they're sitting normally etc but yeah observation skill number one very important and then there's also you know ojina ojisanina going real josh kosei <laughs> I'm just like, man. But then even even if I'm observing them, right? I don't observe it because they're you know, Josh Gosei. I'm just like, look at those uniforms. Look at how their jackets fold. It's just like the eyes. <laughs> yep. You know, I just really like the way uniform like jackets fold. <laughs> There's a certain way uniform jackets fold. It's great, okay? Let me tell you about it. So... <laughs> so... Well, they're wearing their, you know, usual clothes. And like... Okay, so they have their little little collar here. Collars are a little different. But then... There's like... Like this part. <laughs> How it folds. And then like... When they fold their arms, I guess this applies for suits too, like when it folds, it's like a bit of a thicker material, so they make these really nice big folds. Sorry, I'm really not drawing it very well, but but it's just so aesthetically pleasing. Crispy folds. I love crispy folds. <laughs> And like when, when, like even their backs, right? Like, they usually have you know, their arms here. But then like, there's like that kind of... This look. There's like a little bit of folds here. And I guess that's different how the backs are. But there's like that crispiness to uniform folds. The back crease, yes, you know what's up. It's so good, you know? You guys get me, right? You guys get me? <laughs> oh, and you know what I like about skirts, right? I'm, I'm more of a short person, but when it comes to uniform skirts, like, for example, when they're sitting down and, this, and then if there's like a pleated skirt, right? When the folds go like... That. <laughs> you guys know what I mean? Like, there's like a gap, because it's like a... That, and there's like a little bit of a shadow gap. Yeah! <laughs> I love details in the folds. It's great. Anyway, sorry, I went, I went on a little... Little things I enjoy observing and drawing. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm new, so I want to ask, are you a self-taught artist and how did you get so good? I mean, yes. I don't think I went to classes on how to draw anime girls. <laughs> As I said, it's a lot of practice over time, over many years, and also observing a lot, soaking everything into my brain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the observer effect. <laughs> Whom? Where have we heard that before? Was it a, a mad scientist, Ina? 
I haven't seen her in a while. I wonder what happened. <laughs> sounds sounds familiar. I wonder where are we? Whom? Okay, her shoes. Aw. The one one sad thing about this pose, right, that I came up with is the fact that it covers her legs. Her skirt covers her legs. So I'll see if there's if I can adjust it a little bit. See, this is a puzzle. We're putting the puzzles together, chat. One by one. This is the rough piece. Okay, this is... Okay, another, another thing, right? <laughs> it's all about the silhouette of the character in the end. Okay, let me just finish drawing uh, the gloves first. Though. Okay, blob hands. Sugoi hands. Okay, so for example, let me just quickly outline this. Oh, oh. So if I were to follow the original sketch. Well, I guess this wouldn't matter. Okay... And that... Oops. And that... Okay, this should do. Okay, maybe not. That work? No? Yes? No? Okay, maybe not. Oh. Oh, cock. Sorry, when I'm focusing on the screen, it's hard to see the chat. How did I do this in the past? I can't tell. <laughs> okay. Like, for example, if this was the silhouette, I can tell she's jumping, right? You can tell it's Pekora Senpai. But you don't really... You can't really tell what's going on here. It's kind of... It's kind of lost. The details are lost. You're just like... Hmm... What, what's happening with her feet here? So, what you can do... I remember I did this before um, in previous drawing streams where I started with the silhouette. So, let's see. Let me get the sketch up first. Let me get the skirt. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, so this is the original legs, but... If I were to... Do this... And I say, hmm... Maybe I can... Make her... Bend her legs... Lower. Like this. Or even have her like like one of her legs like extended, right? This is really rough, but <laughs> something like that, right? And probably have this one a little lower. I can just. Oops. This? Like she's jumping, but she's not like folding her legs up like in the air almost. You can tell that. Like how what her legs are doing here. So you see a lot more negative space, which gives you more information what a character is doing. Right off the bat. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> I 
except you have to make sure that it kind of fits the original sketch a little better. But this gives you a general idea of what kind of pose you want to kind of strive towards. And then you go back to your original sketch. And then make sure it fits the anatomy. Yeah, see before her... Let's just see. Before her, like, mid, like, middle line would be a little more towards facing that way. But with this, with this new pose, we want her to twist her waist a little bit. So it's facing towards this, the, the camera a little. And so, and so. And this part might switch a little too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why Pekora Senpai's design itself is so iconic. It's the fact that even if you don't have that many like information as soon as you see those rabbit ears and those braids on the side with the carrots in them you know like just from the silhouette you know it's pekora senpai that's that's what makes good character design you can tell um what a like who a character is just from the silhouette okay, now that she's turning her at least a little bit. This might get a little, a little complicated here. Hold on. Time for the red lines. I guess I should have probably. Oh yeah, I do still have this right. I do. Okay. Probably. Copy paste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Red lighting gives you PTSD. I mean, it it would to a lot of people, but in the end, it's if it's like you're like I don't know your upper management like art director fixing your anatomy. It's like a good way to learn, you know. You don't get that every day because if you're only drawing for yourself and by yourself, you sometimes don't see the mistakes. That you make. So having someone else also, you know, take a look at it, and if they're more experienced than you are, then I'm more than happy for them to give me more knowledge. Like, there are some times where, you know, people will make very difficult requests for fixes, like, could you please turn this character head 45 degree the other way? Sure, if it was a 3D model, it can be done pretty quickly, but as 2D, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> it's a lot of fixes. <laughs> That's why I think it's very nice when you, um, you know, expand your knowledge beyond your own field, so you know how other people down the down the you know the assembly line of work work, how they work and how they do their things, so you can optimize your work so it's easier for them to down the line, kind of. It's a, it's a useful skill, not only for drawing or work or anything, just in general, just in general. Even in schoolwork too, like if you have like 
this part and you have to make sure that that one also makes sense with like your other group partners and stuff you can think about how one one thing that you talk about can lead into the next and make a very good you know report or stuff <laughs> yeah because some things that might like work with you might not work with like someone else's work so if you understand how someone else's work is done etc you can at least try to make it a little easier or you know possibly possibly you know cause less problems <laughs> there will always be problems maybe just a little less problems Yeah, for example, a good, good example is like a VTuber, for example. Um, like it's, if you are getting 3D models down the line, there are some things that work better or less design-wise in 3D. Because 3D, also, you also have to compensate for like clipping, for example. Or, you know, there's just some things that don't work that well. Like long cloths. Let's wait around. It's gonna clip everywhere. <laughs> so there's a lot that you have to kind of think about, even from like a concept design stage. When you compare it to like the final, you know, product like the 2D, live 2D design and 3D design and stuff like that. Do you get critiques from fellow senpais when you start VTube? Oh, um, not really. I don't think so. I mean, hmm. I don't know. I just, it just felt natural to do what I do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Like, like, I'm always open for, like, giving out tips and stuff, but I... I guess I'm the type to figure things out on my own. <laughs> like, and I would pro like, I think... I don't know. I, I analyze and think about things a lot. <laughs> is it okay actually talking to talking to um a friend i was like um talking about the different what's it the the personality types and she asked me if i had a little console of many enas <laughs> to always think and bounce ideas with each other and i was like how how'd you know <laughs> She knew! She knew me too well. Yeah. I do. I think about it. A lot. Maybe it's just the fact that sometimes I feel like... Or people think that I don't think much. Or I look blank. Staring into space. It's just that... I always have this... It's like... It's like... Stuff running in the back... App! Running in the background. <laughs> Except, it's the console of Ina always thinking about a whole bunch of things and discussing things while whatever is left over of my brain's computing power doing the rest of the daily tasks. <laughs> yeah. Head, head empty. Head actually technically not empty, it's just the free uh, computing space not that free. <laughs> Yeah. It's interesting to think about though, like how... If you understand how your brain, or how you think, or how you come to decisions, you kind of... 
can also stop yourself from making, you know, impulsive decisions or um, analyze how you think some things when similar stuff happens down the line. It's like I always have, you know, a backup. And then if the backup fails, I can come up with a solution or a alternative pretty fast on the spot because the thought process is always going. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's probably why I don't panic as much when there's like an emergency or something goes wrong during vacation or something, for example. Yeah. I get frustrated, of course, but rather than panicking, going, Oh, what should I do? What should I do? What can I do? Ah! And then losing all the time, I guess I fully switched to problem-solving mode. It's good, it's good. <laughs> yeah. So understanding how, how you yourself like process information is a very nice thing to know. <laughs> Yeah. And so I guess I get really happy when I'm able to help someone in the end. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, whatever I thought about that I never really got to use because I never faced it because I tried repenting it, I can actually help someone. <laughs> It's like the thing that I've prepared for that I didn't get to use, I can use it. Yeah. It's a it's a nice nice feeling. It's a nice feeling. Yeah. I hope that if you guys get a chance to, you know, all of a sudden be faced with the situation, like how, um, for example, someone in a foreign country in an airport can't speak a language. Even if you don't speak the language that well, right? If you can brave up, like gather up your courage, turn on that Google Translate, because it has audio translate now. You know, do your best. Because even in the end, like, even if they can't... <laughs> Sorry, my throat noise. I just drank some water. <laughs> yeah. So Even if you can't, like, fully understand the language, right? The fact that it's just the thought and the act that someone tried to help really calms people down, I think. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. I feel like if I was in that situation where I was in a country that no one can speak the languages I speak, although it's quite rare that no one not speaks English these days. <laughs> it's like if I had someone help me like that, that, that really, really Tashikaru. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, word by word translation. Honestly, um body language is like global, okay? <laughs> if you can't fully understand the language, body language. 
very, very useful. <laughs> like, if you, even if you speak random words that are related to what you want to say and you have the body language, it gets through. It gets through. Yeah. The animal posture. <laughs> Do you know what the animal posture is? <laughs> There's a there's a specific posture you do with animal. <laughs> it's the <laughs> yeah. It's not it's not you just stand up straight and go animal. It's the you have to lean slightly. So if there's a person who needs help right here, you have to lean slightly. You have to lean slightly. Tilt your head a little bit. Be like. I know, like as if you're kind of like, 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 budging into a line. Like I know, <laughs> you don't need the the single finger. You just need that little little, you know, leaning in. We're like I know. Ah, <laughs> uh, like like your your face your face towards them. Yeah, you, you have to look at them. And be like, I know. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> You need the little lean towards the side. Tell them, sorry for budging into your situation. I know. <laughs> you can add an ano simasen. <laughs> or it work. Okay, so the thing is with ano and ano simasen, it works both ways. If you want to help someone, you can be like, ano simasen. Ani ka tetsutai. Ani ani ka tetsutai shimashou ka to ka. Or you'd be like, if you're looking for like a a, a building, but like I know, same as and you lean in, and be like, sorry, sorry to interrupt your day, <laughs> but could you tell me where that building is? Yeah, you gotta learn. The, okay, so if you travel in Japan, you gotta learn the blank, uh, blank foreigner stare and the I know, same as and lean. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is, I think when it comes to foreign countries, like traveling to foreign countries where you don't speak the language, it's actually really helpful to learn a couple of words um, of that language of the country you're going to, because I feel like if you just um, go up to someone who doesn't speak like English, for example, and just blur out something like "excuse me" in English, they freeze. They're just like. What do they want from me? What do they want from me? But then if you start off, like, even if you don't speak, like, fluently, like, if you sound definitely like you're not from around here and just go, Ah, no, sumimasen, or something like that, like, they would not freeze. The initial freeze of contacting a foreigner will not be there as much as if you go up and say, excuse me. <laughs> That's just from my personal experience. Miku? Did I do a good Miku expression? <laughs> yeah, and the f I think that's the that's the, like the magic of language, right? No matter what language you speak, if someone who doesn't speak your language tries to learn your language, you just feel a connection. And if you meet someone in a country that speaks your language, you just feel a connection right away. And you feel... A lot, you know, comfort. That's the magic of languages. <laughs> and it, it is almost like showing respect to that country you're visiting, right? Be like, I'm not just here to, you know, this is before, and I came here because I was interested in the country, and, you know, looking around, and I, and I respect you as, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, when Ananias traveled to Japan on her own, I gave her a sheet of easily, like, frequently used, possibly needed words, right? <laughs> so it comes to, like, you know, the usual anosumimasen, stuff like that. Be like, uh, Toile wa doko desu ka? <laughs> o toile wa doko desu ka? Or, like, um, if she goes on a taxi, be like, uh, 
something something eki made onegaishimasu or something. Very simple stuff. I think it's a lot better because you can just show them the address of the places and taxis and stuff, but it's 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 really nice to prepare at least like a little cheat sheet of very simple phrases. Yeah. Toire na otera. You can use o otearai. It works both ways, but toire is more what should I say? Casual these days. <laughs> like normally people just say toire instead of otearai. And it's easier to remember toilet, toire, toilet. It's universal. <laughs> hmm. Like, of course, let's say you're in, like, the fanciest restaurant, maybe you can say otea. But usually, you know, if you're in, like, a random restaurant, you'll be like, oh, where's the toilet? Toire wa toko desu ka? And the funny thing I found about being in Japan is that if you... Sometimes I would say... Like when I'm talking to someone, I'm say an English word in an English accent, they don't understand <laughs> So I have to double translate the English word into Japanese pronunciation. <laughs> and then they understand. Yeah. I forgot what the word was, but it was, it was quite funny. I did find it quite funny. <laughs> yeah. I think it was, uh... I was talking to one of the hotel staffs, like, while I was checking in and stuff. Ah, uh, what was it? Isn't there also... Isn't there, like, a... What's it? Um... Yeah, one of the... One of the... Um... One of the words you could use is actually cash. Because I, I always forget the, um... The Japanese word for cash. But if I say like cash down the or something, they understand. <laughs> I say genkin. Uh, genkin. It's genkin, but sometimes I just say cash down the and they understand it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I didn't even set me a mess. <laughs> so, um, okay, this this requires a little bit of a backstory. Okay, so I got these teacups, new teacups from Amazon, and it's like really cute. It's like a little mushroom cup. And it has like a, a glass strainer and stuff in it. It was really cute, so I bought two. I got a pink one and like a blue one. And then Moni's came over yesterday. And she was like, What is this? Did you buy something again? And then she goes, It's really cute. <laughs> Why didn't you buy me one? And Papani's one. And I was like, ah, Okay, okay. So I ordered them a pair too. And then. <laughs> And then Amonis goes, hey, why don't you... Why don't you get it for Anis as well? <laughs> it's Amazon, you can ship it over to her place. <laughs> uh, I'm just like, mom, please. <laughs> I just, I just wanted a cute tea cup. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> so, yeah. I, uh... I sent over... A set to Anani says well and she just I didn't tell her that I sent it, so she just messaged me, she's like, Are you the one who sent me these? <laughs> I was like, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of okay, so I was kinda of sad because I, I was what should I say? When Ananis moved out, right? She took a whole bunch of like dish Dishes and stuff that we didn't use in the house with her. 
Except she she took my favorite teacup with her. My favorite teacup. It had like a it was like a special tea teacup, so it had the metal strainer like that fits perfectly and had a little lid. She took it with her. I was like, Anani, why? It's mine. But then I could not stay mad at her because her reasoning was that I wanted to bring some stuff that reminded me of home. And this teacup reminds me of home. So I was like... <sighs> Checkmate! No! Checkmate! So I couldn't, I couldn't stay mad, you know. <laughs> she pulled out the I'm gonna miss home card. How could she? But yeah. <laughs> but you know, she she uses it quite a lot, so she drinks she drinks a lot of tea. So I hope she uses the one I got her just now <laughs> too. It's okay, I have a lot more and I can I can always get more you know, new ones. It's fine if that that you know reminds her of home then it's good. <laughs> but um because she she came to um the family house before we all flew out together and she was like, you know, we're coming back a couple of days before you. Can I steal you you for that couple of days before, you know, you come back to reclaim you? I was like, no, not you you. <laughs> you can't take you you away from home. I, I swear, my whole family is out to steal you you. <laughs> yeah. She did, she did like, um, come over to read a whole bunch of manga and stuff though. I, I was like, hey, 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 you should, you should read, you should read Spy Family. Hey, hey. <laughs> and she read it. She like spawned. I was like, good, 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 good taste. Bond is so cute. How Bond goes, woof, woof. <laughs> Bond is so cute. If I ever get convinced to, I don't know, one day you get a, like a bigger place with a yard and stuff and I get a big dog, it's gonna be because of Bond. <laughs> oh, I love big dogs. Yeah. Woof, woof. I just really love animals in general. They're all so cute. But yeah, she did. She did want to like stay in my house while I was still in Japan too. But I didn't tell her my Wi-Fi password. <laughs> so I was still like passed out in Japan, and she was like, at four a.m. in the morning. What's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> and yeah. And when I was away too, right? Like I didn't want the heating, the house heating to keep going. So I had the temperatures lowered. <laughs> she was like, you know, I went to your house to, you know, work and read manga. But it was so cold and you didn't tell me your Wi-Fi. I was like, just raise the temperature. Thermostat status right by the kitchen. You can't miss it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's not like I forbid her to do so. <laughs> uh. She she makes me laugh. I wonder I wonder what she's gonna reply to. She hasn't replied to my my reply. I wonder if she's using it. She 
she's not she's not she's not answering it's not like I'm waiting for her reply or anything no yeah I don't know I think my family is a odd one <laughs> If I if I step away from being me and look at the you know my family, we're kind of an odd bunch, I should say. <laughs> you know, another another story of family is uh when we when we used to go to the mall together and we we need to find parking. I don't know, maybe my- maybe my family is just... ...chuny, I don't know, but... <laughs> as soon as we enter, we used like... I don't know if we'd still do it these days, but as soon as we enter the parking lot, right? Everyone would start going, Eagle Eye, Eagle Eye, find the parking spot! <laughs> driving down the road and there's like a red light right and all of a sudden we have to like take a left turn and there's like and it turns green with the left turn sign and we can just we can just go without stopping well no, no that's not the case yeah it's when we're standing in the left turn lane and then there's a lot of cars coming and then there's like a little bit of space where we can go we would all <laughs> we would all shout Chance! And then we turn left. <laughs> yep. <sighs> yeah, I think I have a pretty fun family. <laughs> That's some... that's some good memories. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad... I'm glad they're... they're pretty fun. <laughs> I don't know what... when... Ha when it happened, but one of these... one of the days... I got kind of tired of, like... Um, seeing if like anyone else was home while I was home. So I started making like... Have you guys ever seen that video of a husky? Like on the floor on its side and just like wailing. <laughs> <laughs> or like crow noises. Um, so... I decided to make the noise to check if anyone was home. <laughs> Or like Kronos, but like, ah, or something like that. And then I kept doing it until I got a response <laughs> from them. And my entire family kind of got used to it. So every time like I hear, I used to hear like the garage opening and stuff. And I, I was, instead of welcome home, we just make these animal noises. <laughs> Uh, interesting family. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just glad that they play along with my shenanigans. <laughs> uh, it's uh, you know, I 
if they make excuses, I just give them the excuse of like parent, like daughter. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> Yeah. Good times though. Like, oh, I drew her her bow on her shoes wrong. You have to be here. Yeah, you know, that's why that's why that's why I'm here streaming now, you know? If I didn't have those those uh I guess I'm thankful for them for giving me such a fun time growing up. I could talk about many other stuff shenanigans I do, but we gotta finish trying here. We're still on the rough. I'm having fun though. That's what's important. <laughs> hmm, I'm I'm wondering if I need to Okay, I at least need to do that. Uh-huh. There's a thing here that there's a hmm. Let's see. Okay, I think I have to extend this. Okay. It's gonna be unfinished. Oh, at least try to do the line art. Maybe some base colors. But it is tomorrow. Tomorrow or today, I guess. Can someone make the uh make best a little quick except with my tomorrows? <laughs> uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Creeps in this petty pace from day to day. <laughs> to the last syllable of recording time. All our yesterday yesterdays have gotten Bulls <laughs> the way to dusty death. Out out for if candle. Life's but a walking shadow. I mean, I can't believe I still remember some of the soliloquy. <laughs> we need a tomorrow emote. I don't know, it's a long word. We have to do the three part... Three part emote thing. We'll have a... tum o a row <laughs> Oh, I guess I can shorten it. P M P M R or TMR tomorrow. TMR is tomorrow. TMR. To what much in reality and she. Don't tell her that. Okay, T T M R or T M R W. Tomorrow. Hmm. Tomorrow. Or T M R tomorrow. T M R tomorrow. T M. Huh. Oh, maybe we can do a poll. I finished the sketch. <laughs> Tomorrow? Two M R. T M R. Two more. And tomorrow. Last community. All right. You guys can vote while I finish this, uh, the sketch here. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, and she has her pocket. Uh huh. The carrot in here. 
Tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I'm, I'm many, many years later, I'll gather you guys up. Tacos in, in front of the uh, fireplace. But like, remember back in the day, millions of people has have heard of my voice crack. Live and in many memes. <laughs> it was when they announced Kingdom Hearts available to play on the Switch. Wait, I, have I gotten better at Granny? Granny in a voice? <laughs> We didn't know back then that we'd be getting Kingdom Hearts 53. <laughs> I remember lining up in front of the electronic store <laughs> trying to get PlayStation 35 squared. <laughs> I feel like I'd be a good grandma. Don't you think? I have cookies. No milk though. <laughs> now I'll have to get off my lawn. Right on point. Have a couple of cats. <laughs> yeah. I would probably have perfected my uh, cookie making skills by then, right? <laughs> Not quite Clint Eastwood, but okay. Uh... I mean, still a work in progress, okay? We still got... Still got quite a bit of years to go, okay? Okay, I think... I think I can call the sketch finished. Maybe, perhaps. At least three. <laughs> At least three. Want some cookies? Wait, where'd you guys go? You guys are not on screen. Alright, hold on. I can fix this. Yeah. you? Oh, there you are! Let's <sighs> try. It's gonna be a while. Let me eat some cookies here. Okay, um, actually, I want to make this little higher. Okay. That'll do. Oh, maybe, hmm, hold on. If you did that, okay, this is the pink. Like that. Can do that. Uh huh, uh huh. See, so eating all this time always. To the stream. Hi! Welcome! Everyone, welcome to New Taco in the chat. With some cookies. They can't leave. <laughs> it seems like 
tomorrow is winning on the poll at the moment. 40% out of the four. Wonder. Oh, hold on. Reference up here. Okay. Put all the roughs in one folder so I don't get confused. Okay. Oh, chat doko. That's right there. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Boss today, guys. Good work. Good work. Okay. <laughs> oh, this will work. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good was all around. Um, I think I should to make her arms over. Done my part now for the cookies. Now for the partaking of the cookies. Okay, I think I should make her scarf a little smaller. Why not finish it today? I might. I might actually. I think it's kind of leaning towards finishing it today. I'll try. I'll, I'll see how far I can go. But I think I think I still gotta record a few things. I see. I can feel. I can feel Gemma's gaze. Back of my head. <laughs> I'll see how far I can go. I might, I might just finish it as like the self-shaded picture. It takes too long. Okay, I can't forget her. By what do you call these? Decoration band things. Yeah, Gemma. Gemma is a lifesaver. Card. Oh, is that why if there's like a belt on it, it's called a garter belt? Something new every day. Mm. 
<laughs> okay, let's see how it looks so far without the sketch. No head, no head. Call the garter belt because typically it's important to keep the stockings up better than the decorative one. Oh, interesting. We learn new things every day, chat. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take. Oh, I'm gonna go grab more water while we while we finished with the rough, and then we'll get started in the line art. And hopefully, I'll do like a quick colored version of it or something. And that'll be that'll be our goal. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. More water. I've been drinking a lot more water. It's good. It's good. Uh, where is it? I'll be back! Poof. I expected nothing less of chat. As I was coming up the stairs, I was like, I don't even have to look. I'm gonna see a sea of cucumbers in the chat. <laughs> oh, you guys are so predictable. So predictable. Oof. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> You're sharing, okay. That's the thing, you guys are just eating more cucumbers for yourselves. You know, spreading, um, sharing uh, cucumbers. That means less cucumbers for me to have to eat. It's good, it's good, it's good. No, no, keep going, keep going, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, now that the rough is done... Hopefully we can... Hmm. Maybe not. Well, let's come up with the new brush and stuff, but maybe some other time. Okay, I gotta zoom in on her face. Oh, no. Yeah, sometimes when I when I when I feel like switching things up, I just play with random brushes and come up with new ones. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. Mm. 
Yes, the good old left thigh is back. <laughs> Want to see you draw with brushes you've never used? Maybe we should do that one day. Just come up with new brushes. And then draw something with that. That string. What, what kind of brushes would you like to see, though? That's the question. What kind of brushes would I want to try? A cookie brush? <laughs> it it's rabbits in her eyes? like a pretty low resolution example right now. Oh, it's in the in the center. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Like right here, right? Kind of hard to line art, but I told you guys when I moved, I like changed from like a normal stand on my tablet to like a arm. It's like so hard to find a good setup <laughs> that makes everything work so nicely. Because the arm kind of shakes. So I added like some support on, at the bottom of the tablet, but then I have to always like drag it across the desk when I move the arm. Kind of a pain. Yeah, I wish there was like a perfect arm for it or something somewhere, but it doesn't seem like there is. I'll have to make do with what I can get. It feels kind of good to draw on the big tablet again. I've just been drawing on my iPad for a while. <laughs> My backpack gets really heavy because I carry around like drawing tablet, laptop. <laughs> I did that this time too, and I feel like my back almost broke. <laughs> it's so heavy. It's like having like two laptops worth of. Wait, plus like an iPad and like a whole bunch of other miscellaneous things like pencil cases and you know other stuff you put in your carry-on luggage. It was as heavy as like the backpack I used to carry to school. <laughs> Because I was like, I was not very, what should I say, efficient in my school backpacking and I, I had to bring my textbooks and stuff along. Those are, those are pretty heavy. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna 
never get sick of this, uh, this BGM, thankfully. I use it quite a lot. <laughs> I do, I do like that, like, Wii menu sounding one too that I found. Book from Melon Books. <laughs> I saw it, I was like, oh, gotta get. <laughs> I was really surprised as soon as I opened the first. Except I just did not expect it to be on the first page. <laughs> what was on it? Um... <laughs> So, Pon Fako Ju a Dakimakura of. What's that character? FGO character's name? <laughs> Is it Doma? Doma is the name. Yeah, 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 yeah. The. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I opened the book, it was right there. Uh... Yeah, it was a very confusing few seconds. Actually, of um, Olo Mama and Papa's books. And of course, it was buying them, but like, <laughs> they don't know I'm Ina. A lot of um, Holo Mamas and Papas who did some servant designs for FTO2, huh? I know it's not been that long since Kurobush Papa also came up with the latest art book, but I really hope there's another one sometime. I can never get enough. I wanted to put that picture up big. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a big surprise. 
Oh yeah, didn't that one, um, how was it? Uh, it came out on English, like, there's an English version that came out to the, uh, visual novel, Switch. Aotsukai no Yoru, was it? Did it come out in English too? I thought I read that it came out in English. It did, right? Oh, I want to play. Okay, I know. I know what I'm... I know what I'm gonna play in whatever free time I'll get in the future. Because <laughs> I saw the signs on, on Akiba, like the... Like the big, big signs. I was like, oh. And I, I heard that there was gonna be an English version released too. I was like, oh. Maybe I should have gotten it and then played it on the plane or something. Because <laughs> all I did on the plane was kind of just stare at the flight um, info and watch like a movie. <laughs> oh yeah, and didn't they announce a new game too? It's like Fate... Samurai something with um Musashi in it. Samurai Remnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was the name. Yeah, I saw the screenshots of it. I was like, oh, Musashi looks so good here. <laughs> I should probably finish Lost Belt Six and work on Seven. <laughs> I haven't I haven't played in a while. I feel. Yeah, Lost Belt Six is good. That's why I didn't like blast through it because I kind of wanted to enjoy it. While I was playing it, but <laughs> that became a lot longer than I thought. I got actually cleared to uh, they lost about seven. <laughs> I feel like lost about five felt so long, so I kind of got like a little burnt out. <laughs> Part two in two weeks. Okay, I got two weeks right. Well, Spell Six is a novel and so maybe a novel version will be released. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I haven't watched the the movie. FGO movies, two of them. I can't believe I forgot. Yeah, Camelot and um what's my call it? Solomon, yeah. <laughs> okay, to drawing braids, my weakness. <laughs> Did my line art get dinner? I don't know. I'm just drawing what feels right. <laughs> It might on dinner, might not been. It's never been set. 
I think so. Uh, probably make this like that. Aha, aha. A breed's my worst enemy. Not really, but. Frills. Frills are frills are up there in the rankings, definitely. <laughs> They're all my worst enemies. You know what I should do? I should just like get a wig and like cut like bits of hair and make it into braids. So I have braid references all the time. <laughs> Just get like a cheap, cheap wig. <laughs> it's like, cause my brain understand how braids work at the same time, it's like... I just want the easy route of having a reference, you know? <laughs> I mean, you could probably buy, like, pre-made braids, but at the same time, if you can customize it, why not? A big braid move. <laughs> Although, actually, let me do this. That will make it a little easier to see. I think. Maybe. It wasn't me, it was chat. Chat was the one who gave me the, the big braid move. <laughs> it was chat, it was chat. Mm. My brain's slowing down. I can feel it. <laughs> okay, you know what? Scrap this, scrap this. Just gonna... Maybe, maybe the other way would work better. This is there. Yeah, I think the other way would work. But the, the problem right now is the fact that I wanted the braid to tur like, turn a little bit as it was... I think I made it a little too small, but we can fix that. <laughs> One, two. Guessing it's a good one. Two. And it's not too long her hair. Make each braid a little bigger. to deal with hair, honestly. Maybe I don't have to bring it all the way out to the other side. I can just stop here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. A <laughs> solution, go bald. I mean, technically, that's how, like, all, like, MMORPG characters are, right? They're bald, and then you just choose, like, a hairstyle, like a wig. <laughs> it's how you start out. Mm. 
Okay, so that goes here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That, okay. And then ta-da! Okay, this will this will work. This will work. Let me just get rid of the old braids real quick. <laughs> oh, I forgot her other care. Squished in here. Bananas. I don't know. I really like drawing hair like round at the end these days. It's cute. Uh, it's like a stylistic choice, right? Where. You know how like chibi characters, for example, are drawn a lot more round and simplified? And they're to... What's it? Amplify their cuteness. And same applies for the shapes we use for lines and stuff. Just amplifies their cuteness. Being round is cute. Whereas like if you're drawing like a really cool character, right? You wouldn't be adding very round lines. You'll be using very sharp, you know, edges and angles. Um. Takurachis! You guys are very round, very cute. <laughs> I guess I'll finish drawing the hair first. I remember in Akiba, when I was walking around, uh, I went into like one of the what's it, like stores that sell a lot of like headphones and stuff. And I saw like posters of CC Sim, but I was like, oh, so cool. All the live is everywhere. <laughs> Oh, and um, when I went to um, Ryokan with my family, um, they still had <laughs> um, the collab going on, I think, with uh, Fuzi San Kyu, with like the, the amusement park. I mean, we passed by it. I was like, oh. And then in, in one, of the, one of the cities there, they had a whole bus with them on it. I was like, oh, whole life is everywhere. <laughs> Yeah. I visited um, the Sky Tree area too, so I didn't actually go to the collab um, thingy. 
Sad. I should have. <laughs> I should have. But then that would have been kind of, kind of yabe. Yeah, <laughs> so, throat, please. I know I drank water, but you don't have to be so vocal about it. Yeah. But I was surprised to uh, surprised and happy to see uh, Tekora Senpai's one-to-one uh, -one figure because I didn't know that's where it was. <laughs> I just walked in and was like, oh, oh, and I took pictures. But yeah, when I went to the Sailor Moon Museum, they had collections of like all the... Uh, hold on. Yeah, like all the merch and stuff that was released like... From even like really long time ago, right? And one of them was like... A chopsticks. <laughs> chopsticks like with the... Um, with the custom sleeve and stuff. And... and and then I was like, oh, did they actually like keep some? Like someone kept this in pristine condition? <laughs> For all these years? Because it was like, I think the year said it was like 1990 something. And I was like, I wonder how they found, or I don't know if they kept it or if they like asked people to you know, give up their collection or something. <laughs> or let them let them borrow the thing for the museum or something. I wonder. But yeah, after I saw that and then um I ordered the Hollow Life Osechi collab. Um and it came with the Hollow Life chopsticks. <laughs> I was like, man, should, should I keep this? Maybe, maybe many, many years down the line, right? Maybe we'll have a whole live museum. <laughs> and and I can donate my whole life chopsticks. <laughs> uh. Yeah, but I used it anyways. It's, it's too late now. It's gone. My... My whole life chopstick donation I was gonna do for the whole life museum in I don't know 20 2094 or something like that. <laughs> Use this bed. Oh yeah, I threw it out. Of course, it was a it was one time use chopstick. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a fun train of thought. <laughs> okay, so these are like circles. And another circle here. Another one here. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool though? Like, many, many years down the line, right? I don't know if Hollow Life will still be around. Maybe it will be. We'll have like all the collections of all the events that happened and like all the goods released. And then and then you can take your your uh, grandchildren there but like, back in my day I used to wait in Ina's waiting room until we heard the eventual loading music and at the chat was filled with wise. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, maybe chat maybe by then we'll have taken over the world and we can make it happen, you know? Easy. Um, and then these have a little bloop. 
That was a weird noise. That'll be some fun times. <laughs> Rocking Granny Ina down the down the the stone pallet we're like, okay, okay Granny Ina, it's time for bed. <laughs> Isn't it exciting thinking about the future? Taco time. The things we can achieve. <laughs> no more YouTube shorts tonight, Granny. I'll go. What do you mean, YouTube? Back in my day, we had something called. Well, what was it called again? Where you could only, only record like six seconds of something. My my memory is not very great. Ah, yes, Vine. We had something called Vine. <laughs> it was very popular. Short. Form media. <laughs> oh boy. I can't like even imagine where technology will be in I don't know, ten, twenty years. Because everything is changing so fast, all of a sudden they're like, Oh, look at this new technology, look at that new technology and stuff. It's pretty crazy if you think about it. Bum, 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 my stomach's growling! I ate udon before the stream, but apparently it's hungry. Please. Stop being hungry. Thank you. Sincerely, Nina. Of 
being hungry though. What do you freaking? I should probably go grocery shopping after. That, that's what I need to do. <laughs> it's like, even if I don't have that many things to cook with, I've always had eggs and green onions, right? But I don't. <laughs> I need some. Because if I have green onions and eggs, I can basically make anything to eat. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I have none of those right now. It's an emergency. I should probably go to Costco or something. Ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. I still have so much anime to catch up to. Oh, and the new season started. Oh. oh man, I have not finished Marque yet. No. Hmm. I finished Bochi though. Bochi definitely my favorite of the season. Yeah, Bochi was unexpectedly good. Like I didn't know much going into it. Actually it didn't even start at the start of the um Season 2. I've only started because I saw some like... Um... Like, um... What's it? Like, people... Commentating how like the layouts were good and like the expressions are very... Varied. <laughs> so, I gave it a watch and I was like, oh... This speaks to me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of love went into the show and I can definitely tell. People were really like the people who worked on it were really creative, like like creative with um some of the unique things they put into it. Like when they added like the stop motion stuff or the random segments, etc. That. Yeah, the ball. <laughs> like the little little bits where it, she does like reactions and stuff. It's really good. Favorite Bochi song? I've been listening and like looping the opening a lot. It's been stuck in my head. Oh, why did I curve that that much? Opening is really good. Oh no, stomach, please. No growl. Oh, hello, car. Wait, did you guys hear the growl? <laughs> this microphone is too sensitive. I cannot. That or my stomach is really loud. Either. Either or. You heard it? No! <laughs> it's fine. I will go to the grocery store. Although Mamani's always told me you should never go to a grocery store in an empty stomach and she's correct. She's, she's very correct. Also, I don't know what her skirt looks like on the back. Uh huh. Okay, okay. Alright, it's fine. Da -ba -da -ba -bum. Yeah, and I'd probably end up buying more food than I can actually finish, and that's, that's not good. <gasps> Mm, wait, I think... 
this has to be no guys i ate before the stream like right before the stream i ate a bowl of udon i made it's not like i'm starving myself i'm eating healthily 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 yeah it's just when i stream i use up more energy than you know just sitting around normally not doing much so <laughs> It just happened. I need more food. No, Japan's dangerous. Like the kombini foods, they're so close. There's kombini everywhere. I'm gonna end up eating so much snacks. I end up eating so much snacks, and then it's uh, it's not that great. <laughs> I shouldn't eat that many snacks. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, Nina is a genius. Always uh, very difficult to draw the breast part of Pekora's dress. <gasps> like a cool genius. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe it's because it's a little similar to uh, how my original outfit looks ish. Maybe. Like there's like a little little window for your rib cage. <laughs> okay. The difficult part is here. I have to open up the original sketch. Eh, this one. Aha! Okay, okay. Huh, 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 huh. So I do want there to be a little bit of folds. And then we'll just go straight into King of the Big Brain, what is your wisdom? Hmm. The koala's appendix is two meters long. <laughs> that's that's from uh Mameshiba. Mameshiba. I wish they had more of those shorts of random facts. <laughs> Mama Shiva is the precursor to Ino Dodo. I think they're a little different. They're a little different. That skirt part is hard too. No, no, no. I still have a long way to go, Sensei. Ina's ten side. Ina ten side. Ina ten years old. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the Valkyrie Connect collab I had Kiara. I haven't like laughed that much in a while. I feel <laughs> that was a fun collab. The oh yeah, the credits. Did the voices go through during the credits? I don't think the voices were on, right? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> the reason it became the credits was um, 
she didn't like enlarge the picture to be the full screen. And I, was, and I told her, I was like, oh, it kind of looks like, like a credit screen at the end of a movie. And then she started writing the credits. And I was like, oh yeah, you should make it like scroll upwards too. And then she was trying to get it to work. But then, <laughs> but then she started making it scroll horizontally. And she paused it and made it vertical, except like the horizontal part didn't go back to normal. <laughs> We were laughing so hard. Uh, yeah. It, it, it really, it really uh, added to the... the uniqueness of that credit scene, you know? <laughs> it was great, it was great. Yeah. You're such a great collab partner, I think. It's easy to bounce off her. I think the only time I like get confused is probably only when I don't get like the references she makes sometimes. But that's just the knowledge thing. <laughs> yeah, because for me, I'm not like the initiator type for conversation and stuff, right? So it's easier for me if they give me something to work with instead of me trying to think about something to say. And Kiara's really good, you know, coming up with things to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, improvising and stuff on the go. If I have someone who gives me something to work with, I can... Somewhat do something, but... Yeah, Sancho's really good at that too. It's, I think it's like a... Really... Nice... Talent to have. The tangent... It's no wonder she also... Cause she also goes on a lot of tangents too, right? During her streams. You can't help it, you just have... A lot to talk about, or like... Build off of. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just fun to talk about the things you you know. For me it's just the things that I randomly think about in my console Vina, you know? All the different Inas thinking and talking. But then when it comes to streams and collabs, it's when those and, and like improv and stuff, you know, on the fly. Gotta use that skill live instead of just thinking about it. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Ah, vending machines. I love the vending machines. In Japan, they're just everywhere, and you know that you can actually trust and drink stuff in there without, you know, thinking it's expiry date is past and stuff. <laughs> and there's all kinds of vending machines too, so. I think it was in Shimokita area or some or Kichijoji area. We had like um like um it's not like fully a grocery store, but it was a store where they were selling like the local you know farmers like vegetables and stuff. And they even had like um what's it uh oh yeah it was like a what's it um it was a flower shop that's what it was it was a flower shop. And they had a vending machine beside the flower shop. It was like a succulent or like cactus vending machine. So you didn't even have to go into the store. If you weren't a succulent, you could just take one out of the vending machine. <laughs> I was like, oh. 
so smart. How many did I buy? Unfortunately, zero, because I don't think I can bring, like, plants and stuff. Without going through a very tedious, long... What's it? Uh, customs. I don't want tedious, long customs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Were the airport fits quick? Yeah, um, hmm. Actually, one of the layovers was really painful. <laughs> um... What's it? It was very inconvenient because they changed the gates we were supposed to go to and the gate was like the furthest one away from the customs. So I had to drag my very 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 heavy backpack and like I had a, I had brought my camera back too so I had that in my backpack so I was dying. It was hot, there was like no air conditioning or anything. To walk all the way across, and it was during a layover too, cause so I have a limited time to get to my next flight. And, um, they, you know, in airports, they usually have different lines for, you know, the residents or the citizens of that country and, um, you know, visitors, foreign visitors. But this one had everyone in the same line. <laughs> so the line was uh, super duper duper long. <laughs> and so I was, I, I took off my backpack because my back was dying. So I just had to like lift it every time the line moved. And as soon as I got through that, it was one of those airports where you had to pick up your luggage, to drop it off to the recheck for your next flight. And here, I'm running out of time between my flight. And um, so I was like, okay, I'll just quickly get through this costumes, get my bags, recheck it, and then get to the get to my next gate. And I brought my I found my bags. They were they were already outside because everyone spent so long in customs, like all the bags were out and they just kind of like pulled it off to the side. I found my bags. I went, except I missed the recheck turn. So I was just going around, along with the crowd and I missed the recheck turn. So I went out the gates and you can't go back into the gates. So I was like, okay, here's my um, big luggages and my very heavy backpack. I can't use the airport carts between terminals. I'm just gonna have to drag this all the way over to my next flight so I can check it in in the departures. So I did that. <laughs> I was kind of giddy giddy on time. I had a little bit of uh, room. Oh, stomach, please. Um, and then I went, I dropped off my bags. I went to check in. Check in was pretty fine. And then I went through security, except Apparently, on the, my ticket, it said priority security. And to, to tell you guys, there was not that much line in the security. And I was gonna go to the normal one, but the person in the front was like, Oh, you gotta go to the priority check-in. I was like, Okay. And they're like, Oh yeah, priority check-in is like way down the airport, at the end of the airport. So I dragged my backpack across to the priority check in, or like the security part. Except the line of the priority check it or security was longer than the regular <laughs> regular one. So I was like, okay, be patient. There's still time. I'm so close to my gate. 
kind of was getting a little, 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 uh, little scary, but you know, I still got a little bit of time. And I went through security, and you know how security, when you go through, they like have the two little lanes that it's come out, comes out of the, the x ray thing, and then they like put the suspicious item stuff on the other side, and like you can, if it comes through the front, you can just take it and go. Like, I was, I had a lot of stuff because I had like the laptop, I had the, uh, tap like tap like drawing tablet i have my ipad i have my camera so it takes a long time for me to get through security so i took out everything you know except i forgot to take out my ipad out of my backpack so i have my you know laptop was good my shoes were good clothes were all good camera was good but they took my backpack to the other lane and they took my laptop to the other lane my laptop was fine so they gave it back to me so i was holding my laptop it was getting really hot because I was running across the airport and stuff. And they checked my backpack and they're like... Trying to... Because they have to like scan the little box to check what like matched up to the x-ray. Except it wouldn't like... Scan the box's barcode. So they tell me, oh, you gotta put this backpack and put it through again in another box. I was like, okay, I'll do that. And then I had to go to the back of the, you know, line. Well, I stand. I stood still. They they put the backpack to the end of the line. They scan it through again. Except like there's a lot of people checking in or going through security as well. So I had to wait until they got to my bag again. And then they asked me, "Is there electronics in your ba backpack?" I was like, "Oh yeah, my iPad. Let's take it out." And then they're like, "Oh sorry, you're gonna have to." <laughs> You're gonna have to scan your items again. So I went through the backpack scanning like three times. <laughs> and my my um, time was running out. Like they were, I got like the text saying that my plane was boarding. I was just like, don't cry, don't cry. Patient, you can run over. You can run over to your gate. It'll be fine. And then yeah, I waited. There was nothing wrong with this. I packed everything up in my backpack. And I checked my gate. Of course, I had to be on the very edge of the airport again. So, ah, uh, yeah, that was that was the worst airport experience I've had in a while. It's a little painful. So as I sat down in my my airplane seat, I was like sweating. I was just like, <sighs> yeah, it was rough, but I made it. It's uh, adventure stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did make it on time. That would have been pretty bad because it was like a two layover flight. So I had two layovers in the middle of my long flight. And if I missed the first one, I couldn't find the next pl another plane within the day to get to the next layover. I wouldn't have made it back home. So. Um, cause the, what happened was that there was like a really long layover time between one of the flights. Cause one of them was, um, arriving at night or something. So I, for the second layover flight, I booked like a early morning one. So if I've missed that plane and had to get another plane that arrived later, I would have missed the final flight. I was like, ah, panic. But I made it, I made it. Yeah, that's the, that's the beauty of traveling, you know? You never know when something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> yeah. Although I'm kind of glad that um, on my way back I was alone. Because if I had to go through that with my entire family, it would have... we might not have made it, you know? It's because I was alone, I could just like, you know, go as fast as I could, but we made it, we made it. Yeah. That's why, that's why when something goes wrong when you're traveling, just like, don't panic, don't panic. Like, my mind then was like, coming up with different you know, solutions if I did not make the plane. I wasn't panicking then, you know. 
I wasn't gonna make it and be like, what do I do? What do I do? That's the one important skill to have. Don't panic. <laughs> Keep calm. Calm. You know what was, what was my favorite um, airport experience though? It was actually Haneda Airport. <laughs> you know why? Because every single airport I've gone to so far, they make me take out all my electronics. Like, I'm gonna carry a lot of electronics. But Haneda Airport, they're just like, no, keep it in your backpack. I was like, oh, what is this technology? <laughs> technology! I don't have to spend like 10 minutes trying to scramble and take out everything out of my backpack. And I was through security in like 5 minutes. And there was still quite a bit of people. But I was through in 5 minutes. Yeah. I wish all airports did that. <laughs> just, just let me keep my electronics, please. I don't want to take out like... Because if I... Good thing that I didn't bring my switch this time, because if I did, I had to take those out too. <laughs> that's a that's an additional box added to my train of boxes in security. <laughs> like, yeah. The reason I didn't bring my switch because I was gonna bring it to play like on the plane and something, but um, I literally did not have any room in my backpack. It's how packed it was. I even borrowed my... Uh, I even borrowed Papanis' backpack too, because it's like one of those super fit, like... a lot of stuff in kind of backpack. And it was heavy, and there was absolutely no room. Yeah. It's fine. Because like, when it comes to laptops and stuff, it's not only the laptop itself that's heavy, it's the charger. Because you can't check in, like, batteries into check-in luggage, so you have to put it on your carry-on. If you have two laptops, you got two chargers. And those are pretty, pretty heavy themselves. So, yeah. That's part of the reason why it was so heavy, too. Like, an option would be to... Because laptop chargers usually... You can take apart into two pieces, right? One of the... One that goes to the wall plug... Like, outlet, and then the brick. You just need to... Bring the brick. Wait, wait, no, 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 the reason- Okay, okay, so I have to bring the laptop with me. I can char- I can check in the brick. Because it's technically not a battery. But the reason I did not do that was because there's been a lot of baggages going missing, right? And if I didn't have my charger for my laptop and the tablet, I wouldn't get them. That would be troublesome. So I had got carried it in my backpack. Ah, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> that was the reasoning. Cause I I think I did research before I went. Cause I was like, do I put it in my check luggage? But then yeah, that would be unfortunate. Because even if I didn't have my phone, if I were to problem solve. You know, if something went wrong and I need to read book stuff and whatnot, it's probably easiest for me to do it on my laptop, right? So, but if I didn't have, for example, if I if my bag got missing and my laptop was running out of battery, that will not be very ideal. So, yeah, that that was my reasoning, part of why my backpack was so heavy. <laughs> That's why, like, I think in the previous trips. I went, you know, the ones where I did off collabs and stuff. I tried to narrow it down to bring my MacBook, which is a lot lighter than my Windows laptop, and an iPad, 
so it won't be as you know heavy <laughs> but some of the things that i wished worked better on mac did not work very well on mac so i found that even though it's a lot heavier i should carry around my windows laptop But I'll, I'll, that's why I keep doing all the testing and research on stuff I can carry around lightly while keeping all the stuff that I need to do what I need to do. Yeah. Honestly though, I am glad that a lot of stuff is available to charge with like USB-C though. Because before, you know how there was like, you need to carry around like a um, lightning cable thing for like your phone and something else for... Like everything had different chargers, but... Right now I can probably survive with just like one or two USB-C cables. And just like switch between each of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. But this time around, I was so prepared because um, I also brought, I, I got like a little travel travel kit, um, so I could organize my cables, and it's one of those like carry all your cables and stuff and organize them while you're traveling and i stuffed like like two hdmi cables like a couple of usb-c cables i even brought like a F ethernet cable <laughs> i brought my like um travel um what's it uh converter things and yeah <laughs> I was so prepared. Yeah, the adapter socket things, yeah. That's always kind of nice, like when we did the... The off collab trip in... Last... Last February? Because like... Some of like, oh, does anyone have a... Something something, you know, cable? But like, I have it! <laughs> does anyone have scissors? I have it! <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about the pull. Oh. I mean, hmm. It's difficult. One of... <sighs> That's a... Uh, this is... Okay, how about I close this pull. I do another one of the two of them. Tomorrow and... Tomorrow. Repull. Top two. Uh, start pull. That's it. Tomorrow. In tomorrow. Tomorrow. The finals. Okay, this will go on until I finish my line art, which I'm making good progress. Oh no, I didn't want to add option. No, stop, stop, stop. Okay, ask you to me. Cool. All right, last chance. Change your mind or not. Back in my day, batteries were also replaceable, so you had to bring three to four every time. Oh yeah, because a lot of stuff used like what is it, AA batteries? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so, uh, one of the things, um, I went to go buy during the Japan trip is actually an extra spare battery for my camera. Cause, um, when I was trying to, or I was trying to order it for, from like a local or online store, he said like, he had to special order it from Japan. <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm... I'm gonna go to Japan anyways, I might as well buy it there. 
And then, um, I went to the store. I checked the, what's it, like which store had it in stock. And I think like, the Osaka one had it in stock. So I was like, okay, I can get this. I can get this before I leave. Because apparently it's a really popular battery. And I went to the store. I looked at the battery section and it was gone. It said, we will restock it at a later date. And I was like, no. But then it said that it was in stock on the website. So I was like, I like, <laughs> I literally just walked around that corner, like in a circle for like 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure the workers probably were like, what? What's that girl doing? <laughs> but I was like, do I do I search another store, or do I do I what what I do what do I do? I have limited time here. And then I was like, okay, Ina, I know it's very it's very it's very difficult talking to the workers there. We're gonna have to brave brave this encounter and ask them if by any chance they do have it in stock. And they just put up the sign. <laughs> and so I walked up to... Oh, stomach, please. I walked up to, to one of the workers here and I did the... I know. I know, seimasen. I braved the encounter. I was like, I know, seimasen. This battery is not a battery. Is it a battery? And they're like, oh, I'll check the bag. And they went. And then it was totally worth it because they had it. They were like, oh, is this the right battery? I was like, oh, yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I know. So I have I have an extra battery for my camera now, which is good. Phew. <laughs> yeah. But then I realized something just now. If I'm... If someone asks for help or if I'm helping someone, I don't get that... Anxiety of asking or talking to someone. Because <laughs> I just remembered, um, I think once in Kyoto, I was waiting for a bus after getting like the completo and stuff and like... Um, like a... Like a granny like walked up to me they're like oh do you know where this store is and she, I, i'm not sure why she chose me but maybe maybe i looked very friendly but <laughs> and then i was like oh which store is it? and i like looked it up on my phone like um uh google maps and i was like oh i think you're going the wrong way and like like showed her where the shop is and like uh, told her the directions I wasn't nervous at all, so maybe. I guess initiating is the hard part, you're right. Sometimes. Sometimes I initiate to help, but those are the rare cases. Yeah. But that was also a, also a nice experience. Actually helping with directions when I'm not from around there. <laughs> Like, ah, Google Sensei, please help me. <laughs> yeah, use my map app. <laughs> map app. Haha. I use my map app. But yeah, it's pretty nice. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Let's keep uh, let's keep finishing the liner until until I finish it. <laughs> until I finish it. <laughs> when does liner end? Liner ends when liner ends.
Top dip opened the map dip. <laughs> Looking forward to playing Pokemon again. Wonder what classes we'll take. But there's still like gyms and stuff in the new game, right? Like I've literally seen almost nothing of the story and like the features and stuff. So I don't know what's different. Mama is calling. I should probably tell her I am in the middle of streaming. <laughs> oh, Anani's reply. She says, please don't send these to me. Oh. I'm hurt. <laughs> Fine, I'm not gonna order these. It's not like one of the QBs. I'm gonna, just gonna tell her to bring them over next time she's over. She's only gonna need to do. She's not gonna use that, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Assert dominance, send more. She's, she's probably gonna bonk me if I did that. <laughs> Do I have more grocery tips for you guys? Groceries? Eh? Huh? I know Mamanis has told me quite quite a few. But I don't know if I can think of them on the spot. <laughs> First you gotta go to the store. You technically don't. You could totally order groceries <laughs> and then the person shopping for you will have to do all the thinking. <laughs> Always get things from the back of the shelf. That's the thing though. Um, it depends. Of course, things like milk and like dairy and stuff, they usually put the things that expire first at the front of the shelf. Like, so people, you know, grab those first. But if you know that you're going to be using it right away, for example, if I'm going shopping for um, ingredients to use for a cooking stream, etc. I grab the stuff in the front because I know I'm going to use it right away. And I don't want to, you know have so much left over, right? So, always gauge like how much you're gonna be using and how long you'll need it for, etc. So that not so much will go to waste in case, you know, they don't get sold. You gotta get rid of those. Read this is waste. <laughs> You're not thinking that much at the grocery store? I don't know, for me, when I go to the grocery store these days, it's kind of like taking a walk, right? So I go through all the aisles, maybe once or twice. I think about, did I need anything from here and stuff? And, you know, if I'm there for like a purpose, of course I have like a shopping list, but... Um, I think I watched like a movie or something where one of the characters did that. And then like... Um, someone with that character was like, Oh, you should grab something from the back because, you know, it has a longer expiry date. 
And the main character was like, No, I'm getting it from the front because I'm gonna drink it right away. There's no need to get anything, you know. I was like, Oh, that's so cool. And then it's one of the tips I remember. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, I love the smell of bookstores. I, w I just walked into so many in Japan because I just love the smell of books. There's a lot of bookstores like randomly in Japan. Like, I just walk into them because they smell so good. <laughs> of different types of paper too, right? Different papers smell differently. Sometimes walking into a different corner of the bookstore smells differently too. <laughs> Are the books in the back fresher? <laughs> Older in this case, because books are not loaded from the back, it's loaded from the, you know, the stack. So technically, the ones on the top are fresher, right? Because <laughs> the reason the older stuff in grocery stores are in the front is because they loaded, like, the dairy stuff from the back. Oh wait, I already line-arted the hair. Oh, I just have her hands left. And this part. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can probably line-art and then maybe base color and wrap it up for today. So I should probably go to the stores before they close. Hungry. Maybe I'll just grab something for dinner there. What's for dinner? I have not decided yet. I mean, I had udon before stream. Maybe I'll go get a steak or something. I have to eat more iron rich foods. Pizza. Hmm. Stream for small Ina. I don't know when or what kind of stream small Ina can do. I'll have to think about it. Small Ina has been waiting to meet you guys again for the New Year's, you know. Small cooking stream? Maybe. That sounds fun. Okay, let's see. Da -dum, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. That's done here. Ah, I forgot the carrot. Bum, 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 bum. How do I make it a smaller carrot? No, I have to give it a big carrot. Bum, 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 bum. Chicken. Chimkin. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I feel like eating today. Pasta? Mm. Soup? <laughs> I always drink soup. Soup is a must-have for sure. Maybe 
week. What's your favorite dish to make for yourself? Uh, hold on. <laughs> it's simple. It's it's like it warms you up after you eat it. You know, it's yummy. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, line art finished. Wow. We went on so many tangents today. Oh, we're used to that. Let me just. Do, 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 do. And then. Quickly mask off these parts. You love tangents, but what about parallels? Whoa. <laughs> we did do a lot today. We'll quickly just fill in the base colors. And then we'll be on our way. Decide what to eat for dinner. Tangents are kind of like parallels because you go on a tangent because you find the parallel with the story that you, you know, you uh, relate to, you know. <laughs> Sine or cosine. Man, I don't remember any math. <laughs> I don't remember any math. Oh, I didn't finish the line up for her eyebrow. Um, bop, bop, bop. I used to be kind of good at math. What happened? Life happened. Yeah, when when the art side of the brain took over, you know, kind of stopped thinking about the math side of things. Your brain has... Oh, stop it, please! I'll be done soon. No, stop! <laughs> I literally ate... Like, right up to the stream start. What does this keep happening? Stomach has spoken. It requires food. Yeah, I'll do the other stuff later. And then gonna eat this. 
Oh yeah, wait, wait, I gotta end the end the pull. Now I finished the finished the line art. So we have decided on what to use for the tomorrow emote that's eventually on its way. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we did have some iconic moments last year, huh? Tomorrow. In my back. <laughs> Will be all memorable moments. <laughs> Stop it, please! You're embarrassing me! Okay, I, I have some snacks. Let me, let me maybe if I eat some snacks here. <laughs> what am I having? It's like um it's like a choco banana cookie chip thing. It replenishes my brain sugar too. Very nice. Hmm? I'm spoiling my dinner. I'm probably not gonna have dinner until like much later, maybe. So I still have stuff to go buy ingredients and have to cook it and then I have to eat it. So that's still a long ways. Yeah, if I if I walk around and stuff, um, I'm sure I'll feel hungry again. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that we gotta fill in her hair. See the hunger. Oops, is that right? Yeah, that is right. And then this one. Yeah. The more hungry I get, the more the food will be worth it, you know? Mm -hmm. Hunger is the best seasoning, as my mommies used to call it. Um, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, that's why that's why you shouldn't go grocery shopping when you're when you're hungry cuz everything will look good. <laughs> everything is going to look delicious. Wait, something doesn't look right here. <laughs> Right? Oh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, I thought this was also the hair. Okay, never mind. I can fix that later. Um, no, but if this is the white one. Are you? See, I'm I'm reaching my my brain limit here. Okay, so this is white one, blue one. I think I drew one too many on the inside. Did I? Did I not? I can't tell. You know what? I'll just I'll just fix it later. 
<laughs> Utrina, good luck. I mean, why isn't this... See, some, something is wrong here, okay? <laughs> oh yeah, I think I think it's because this is a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 we gotta we got figure this out. <laughs> so, so, something is not right. Okay, so this is also right here. And this is also right here. It's the impossible braid. I know, I messed up somewhere. <laughs> How did this happen? Okay, okay, okay. Go back, go back. We gotta fix this. We gotta fix this. What happened here, Ina? What happened? It's during the, during the sketch here. I think I, I definitely missed one, then. Okay, so this goes here. Uh-huh. Get rid of the carrot for now. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. There's this one, yes. Uh, no, 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 I mean, hey, this one. I think this has to go more down here. This goes down here. Goes down here. It seems right on paper. It should be right. <laughs> okay, so if this this is blue. Maybe I, I, I just have to divide these a little more. Uh huh. And this is blue. This is blue. This is blue. And that's blue. okay. 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 Okay, okay, we, we got this, we got this. No, no problem, no problem. Wait, what does that mean? Wait, 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 wait. Eh? <laughs> hold up, hold up, back up again. So this <laughs> My brain hurts <laughs> This is to find here No, it's it's in between mm, just, oh, Okay, hold on Maybe the care is what's wrong. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Would it be better to draw the care here then? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. It's impossible to use layers correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
This one needs to be deleted. Hold on, let me follow. Okay, so there's this white one, huh? And there's this, this white one. The carrot goes here. And her official art here goes here. And then the the blue goes over the carrot. That uh -huh. and the white here goes inside. And there's the white here. <laughs> we'll, we'll get through this chat. We'll get through this. And then there's blue here. That goes to blue here. I do it? Did I fix it? Did I fix it? Well, I mean, I can add a little... Okay. Can we get this small? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Test this out. Okay. This is blue here. This also has to be blue. And then... <laughs> friendship or... Friendship with braids over. To a new enemy now. Okay. White one. One. White one here. Uh-huh. And blue one. Blue one. White one. This is blue. This is white. Okay, I think we did it. I think we did it. Oh. Okay. Makes sense now. <laughs> Phew, this is why references are important. When in doubt, use references. Well done. Thanks, chat. Thanks, chat. adjust the layer masks a little bit, but it's fine. See, now that we've struggled, our dinner is gonna taste better than ever. Yummy. Maybe some recipe will pop up in my brain. Mm. 
Mm, as I'm shopping, is what I meant to finish my sentence with. Oh, that's why. Okay. I think I wanted to turn. I have the braid like turn a little bit, but you know what? Let's we'll see. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Gotta adjust this now. Something seems wrong here again. <laughs> am I? Am I? No. Oh, I am missing something here. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I am missing one here. Okay. Am I? This one goes in here. <laughs> and then... There's a blue here. Eh? My brain trembles, honestly. first important uh, 
I think this is difficult because I tried to turn the braid. Made it a little awkward. That's correct, okay. Slight one. The blue one. It's the white one. The blue one. They do? I think so. I think I think this is it. This is it. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Let me mask this real quick. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, erase. This is my final answer. We'll see. We'll see. Whew. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. The sun is white going in here. Let me... One more line. Okay. White. White. We got it, we got it. This is it, this is it. There's just wait, hold on. No, oh, this this is it, this is it, this is it. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We'll just clean it up a little better in post. <laughs> I'm gonna look back on the VOD and see if I had it okay in the first place. <laughs> Just imagine if I had it okay, it was just at a weird angle. That's why it was not making sense. Who knows? What's done is done. Go next. Ah. Maybe it's just my brain being weird. That That's often the case. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Well, I should probably add it to this slip. Uh -huh. Bum bum bum. Okay. And then for this. Probably. Just filling in the blank spaces so I can... What's it? Fill it in correctly the first time. Aha! Uh -huh. Probably put the hair layer on top. And then get rid of... These. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, and then let me mask the um the fuzzy part different maybe. Okay, okay. And her sleeves. Oh. These are different colors so I can tell what's filled or not. Um, um. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I should probably fill in... Oops. We separate. Oh. Cool. Aha. Uh... And this, and this. Yes. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Merge it with that. Fill it in. Doinks. Good, good, good. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> and then probably. Hmm. Fill in this. 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 Uh huh. Her shoes. Her shoes are white too. Oh, probably use the same layer here. Bum, 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 bum. This. Oh, and this too. Okay, okay. Back to the blue layer. Ah, this one. Mm -hmm. And then... Could probably fill in her gloves. Going too far ahead. Oh. 
Like, I have a specific way and order I like to fill in the color, so... Get there, don't worry, don't worry. Like, if I say, it's finished, then you guys see something, you know, I'm missing a color here and there. It's fine to point out then, but while I'm working on it, just sit back and relax. Um, I do this and this. Uh -huh. And then we oh, yeah, add a slightly lighter blue string. Be a little different color. Yeah, I'll just do it. Um. And that. And then this. Okay, so I need to add in... A big carrot symbol here. Because you can't really see it well. And then... Little details. Sounds more of a gray. a bit of line I don't need. Mm, I love carrot juice actually. I'm glad that carrot is like one of the main ingredients in veggie juice and stuff. Veggie juice every single morning. It's part of my morning routine in Japan. <laughs> it's good for you. It's kind of hard to come by veggies or consume veggies as much as I do here in Japan. Just gotta get my vitamins. Yeah, you remember how I tweeted the vegetable juice? 
I was actually drinking vegetable juice then. <laughs> Okay, and then what can do is maybe it's in her hair. some blush though. Yay! I mean we got we got good progress. We have to finish it today. Potch potch potch. What's it everyone? Thanks for sitting through the stream. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for her membership gifts. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully, I don't know. If I have time later today, I'll try to uh, finish this by today or tomorrow. But if not, I guess I can work on it next stream or something. Anyways, thank you! I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the morning, afternoon, evening. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Boot. Soon. Bye.